latest episode of Mons React. It's so nice to see you. There is so much good music out now. We had a bit of a difficult time choosing which songs we were going to react to today. So we decided to do something from the Western world, something from Korea. And today's Korean choice is a song by an artist that we've never heard of. Her name is Hayuna. I think you're pronouncing that correctly, absolutely. And the song is called I Am Not Cool. I'm not cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm not cool. I like that. We're really excited about this video because a lot of the music we've been watching lately coming from South Korea has been soulful, meaningful, beautiful, catchy, but we haven't yes. seen a lot of risque kind of content going on. And yes, yeah. and Judging from the judging from the uh, the thumbnail yes. and some of the shots that we've seen of this, even though we haven't heard the song yet, it looks like we're in for a surprise and a treat. Yes. So we're super excited to react to this new artist, new to us. If there's anything you want to tell us about her or any of her music, we would love to learn more about her. Drop it in the comments below. And if you are new to our channel, you know what you need to do? Join the Mom Joe family. Click that subscribe button right now. Yes, all right, let's get to it. One thing I wanted to say about Hayuna, we've done a little bit of reading, is that she's been active in the music industry since 2007. She is a singer, she is a model, and she is signed on to Size Record Label, which definitely probably mm. attests as to why she is going to be taking a little more of a risky approach in this music video. All right, let's do it. Nice. I'm excited. Let's do it. Okay. In three, two, one, let's do it. I cannot keep still. <laughs> that was amazing. What do you think? Uh, I love the lyrics. I love how provocative they are. I think she is beautiful. I love the way she mm. rocks that black outfit with all the holes and the ponytail. I mean, oh gosh, sucker for good style, and she looks incredible. Do you, do you know what's crazy is that like I only because there was so much going mm. on, and I was watching the choreography, and mm. I'm watching the dances, and I'm watching the words, and feeling the beat. I didn't even notice a black outfit. I see her in pink. Okay, and the Right? And so like, I've only catch that. It's interesting how we each pick up different things, yeah. especially when you watch a music video for the first time. Yes, and that's... So guys, tell us, what was your first impression? And we're going to continue right yeah, now. Yeah, and tell the, fa the fact that you all, you saw the pink outfit and I saw the black outfit is testament to the fact that she changed so many millions of times in the first minute <laughs> of the video. Um, I'm loving it. I actually find loving it her. danceable. I love the lyrics. I love the attitude and the energy. Oof. Let's keep going. Do you want to do the countdown? I can kind of see. I'm just going to say, yeah. I can kind of see us doing it with our kids in the, like a just dance format because yeah. the, the choreography is so like catchy and fun. It is. That's it how it's for sure. All right. Let's do it again. Yeah. Do the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, she's pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's so cool. What are you talking about? 
I like me to stand up. I'm like, it's hard for me to sit. <laughs> Ooh, break it down. That Ooh, outfit. I can't, I have to go. that it's funny how we're exploring a lot of K-pop and a lot of music coming from Korea and other Asian countries. And it's funny how we saw this video as probably risque and much more pushing the boundaries yeah. like than others. But at the same time, yeah. there's always a message, right? I actually was expecting more risque. I didn't think it was that like crazy. No, compared to like, I don't know. Exactly. Compared to like rappers and what they show sure. in North America, right? Yeah. Like the outfits and the what's it, Cardi B? Yeah, it's like, not Cardi B. That kind or of Megan Thee no, Stallion. It's nowhere near Cardi yeah, B. Yeah, exactly. for sure. But uh, um, the message, the beat. You you're talking about the message. <laughs> I'm talking about the beat, especially that part like two thirds of the way yeah. through where they changed up the vibe. Yeah. That really got me, and then we got pushed back mm -hmm. into the. The club, yeah. right? We want to be in that club. Yeah, I brought it down. And yes, the message was great. I did well, enjoy that. I thought it was... Yeah, go, so, sorry to interrupt. I'm just no, getting very excited. No, no. But it's in, the song is interesting because she starts out looking very superficial and very like self-absorbed. And after the music goes down and the lyrics start again, she's talking about being an individual and doing your own thing and mm. dancing like no one's watching and asking oh. like, who do you think is pretty? Like, how do you define beauty, right? So there is a bit of like a change in tone, which is interesting because she's kind of trying to prove a point there. She's like mm -hmm. being narcissistic at the beginning. And then she's like, wait, like we're all beautiful. You should love yourself, like regardless. The so I love that. Beautiful message. The, uh, this is the thing with like K-pop style music. Yeah. We always get impressed with the full package. Yeah. The words, the meaning, the music, right? The dancing, the choreography, the set. I mean, those little like, that even just her shimmery, shiny background. Yeah. And I saw at the end, I don't know if you noticed, but they zoomed out and you could see what was on the side, like in the background. Oh, it looked like it. they were in this really cool kind of like loft or house or it was all pink, but very cool with some like plants, very modern, but a lot of pink mm -hmm. and sparkly and shiny. Yeah. Um, just fun, just fun. Yeah. I didn't feel like it was offensive. I didn't feel like it was too much. No. I didn't feel like the outfits were too, like, as we were saying, too risque. So as moms, and this is why moms react, I'm okay with my kids seeing that, actually. I think it would be fine. 100%. I would be totally comfortable yeah. with them seeing yeah. it. She owns it. She's beautiful. The dancers are incredible. Uh, it's powerful. And like I told mm. you before, I love the message. I love a song with a message, and this one definitely has it, especially as a mom, right? Like when you're showing music to your kids, like my kids are on TikTok, they're exposed to so many lyrics that are so downright like yuck for a 10 year old, mm. right? I, I love what this chick is saying and the music was great. I can't stop raving about it. I really, really we, enjoyed it. We're giving it two very enthusiastic yeah. thumbs up yeah, yeah, between yeah. the beats and the vibe and the message, everything. We enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, one thing I did want to say before we close this up is how young she looks. Yeah. You said she's been she's been active since when? 2007, so she was like 40 years old. I think she was born in 92. So she wow. was what? Do the math, like 30, almost 30. I don't know. She looks like a teenager to me. So that's very impressive. She keeps up well. Cutie. Hyuna. Uh, Hyuna. Hyuna? Hayona? Hayona, yes. We are new fans. Are you guys fans of Hayona? Did you enjoy this video? Give us some love in the comments down below. Yes, and if you're new to our community, welcome to Momjo. We love having you over here. 
please sign up, you know, subscribe right there, press that button right now. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and come and hang out with us on social media, on Instagram at Finding Mom. All right, we're gonna go review something else now. So check out this playlist because we have a ton of different music review videos. We're all over the place and that's the fun part. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks guys, see you next time. Bye. Bye.